Hey y'all, Craig Wall, Georgia Trapping and Fishing. We're gonna get out here today and see if we can't catch a few critters. So y'all come on along. Uh, another bluebird day on the trap line. Well, I set up a 3.30. I busted out a little piece of this dam out here on this pretty good sized pond. Just across the street from where I've been trapping and my 3.30's out in the water and I believe I got man otter. So let's check it out. Yep, got my first otter for the year. Good size otter too. So get this guy out and get him, uh, get this trap reset. First order of the year. All right, well, I got this remade. Just set me another 330 back up on this damn brake set. We'll just leave it out here. Maybe we'll get a beaver next, so. Well, y'all, this is where I drained that out. And I got the creek is still in its banks. If you notice right here, I got, looks like a, steady travel lane going right back over to these little puddles and uh looks more like otter to me but it could be beaver so what i'm gonna do they go up cross over this little berm go right in the water i got a 330 up that way in the creek so i'm gonna come down this pinch point and drop a 330 in right here and see if i can't get them crossing through here all right guys, went ahead and got a 330 here where it pinches down a little bit, so maybe I'll get him swimming on out of here. Well guys, I had a K9 set out right here on the side of this oh bank den. They've left this bank den since I drained the water out, but something got out of this trap. I snapped it off one, so I guess I'll remake it and See if I can't get them digging in this old bank den again. All right, what I did is, the other day, I had those snare, had that snare, that something pulled out in the water. And uh, it was knocked down again last night, so, or night before last, so I went ahead and just put a 330 Connor bear in here this time. And, I'll see if I can get them coming through because it's still a pretty good active trail. I just came across this. Pretty good little four point rack. Half one, still got the blood on it. Must have just dropped it. Uh, it didn't have anything in the trap, so this is better than nothing, I guess. Well. I don't know if y'all can tell, but we got a torrential rain the last two days. I put out a new caster set here, but I don't see my uh, trap anywhere. So I'm gonna check it, pull it up, see if I, see if I got anything on this drowner right. Yep, looks like we got us a beaver. Decent sized beaver. He's been working this area. Up through here I've been seeing cuttings. And uh, I noticed they had dammed this up right here. So I guess he moved down out of that top, top beaver dam and moved down in here. So it's another good beaver. I just put this out last night. 
And I put it, put some, uh, uh, what is that? I have to figure out which one it is. This is what I was trying to tell you about on the other video, tagging tails. You carry them out like a suitcase. Don't make them no lighter, but it sure makes it easier to carry them. All right, I remembered what that was. That was Clint Locklear's Enrager uh, Beaver Lure. Dan Davis, Judith and Dan Davis, put me on that. He said, get some of that. And uh, pull one in first night. So thanks, Dan. I appreciate that. Well, looks like I got a possum in my dog proof. So I'll let him go and remake this set. Alright, I appreciate y'all coming along this week. Had a pretty good week of catches. Uh, it turned out to be better than I thought it would be, as messy as it was. We got a lot of rain, but it was a good week all in all. Got that otter and beaver and a few other little catches, but uh, I got a, a good video coming out next. Got some some good catches on it too so y'all make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when that next video is coming out and if you like what you saw how about give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see y'all next time